Thanks for staying with us. And journalists have been tasked to limit spread of fake news and misrepresentation of facts by first fact-checking the information and reporting only the facts of the story. This formed part of discussions at the training for broadcast journalists and students of communication in Lagos State. We have more in this report. In order to combat misinformation, the Wale Shoinka Center for Investigative Journalism in partnership with TVC Communications has organized the second edition of the Future of Media series for journalists and students of communication. Apart from looking at issues or topics that address we journalists, right, we need to upgrade ourselves as to how can we operate in an AI-generated world. And so that's why we felt this second edition should focus on digital training and focus on how to use AI-generated tools to tell better stories and create good content online to, of course, curb the spread of disinformation, misinformation and fake news. The hands-on training also taught journalists and those aspiring to get into the profession how to utilize fact-checking tools to verify information and focus on reporting facts. You realize that the power to stop this information is in the hands of people. The higher the media literacy skills that people have, there's not a better chance to curb the problem. We want the average Nigerian who has a phone, who comes this news to be able to verify by themselves. Oftentimes there are misinformation targeting women and we understand that when misinformation target them it's going to affect them psychologically, it's going to affect, uh, it's going to reinforce the stereotypes that is already against women. So it is our responsibilities as journalists, specifically content creators, to ensure that the right information about women get out there. A lot was said about those who fabricate incorrect stories, but what can the public do to help fight the spread of fake? News. With the wave of the new media, the social media, or whatever name you call it, you cannot do without fact checking. If you are close to social media, if you are close to your phone, always searching for information, you need to see the right information. Training so far and um, the discussion on the misinformation, disinformation, I think um, if we all come out to stay grounded in our in our uh, uh, duties as journalists in uh, information, I think we'll be able to combat it. The spread of misinformation by an individual will always be echoed by others who share similar bias, making it a lot more difficult for fake news to eradicate totally. But in order to at least contain the spread in the society, one must look beyond what it believes to be true and focus on what the truth actually is.